Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells and welcome to another video. I wanted to share with you a quick and easy way to basically dump your photos from your phone to your computer. I know a lot of you take pictures with your phone and you may not be listing from your phone but you are struggling with how to get the pictures from your phone to the computer and this is a cool wireless way to do that. Uh, this was at, actually an Apple application but you can use this between all kinds of devices. I'm going to give you a link at the end of this that pretty much is an article that shows any way that you could do this between devices whether it's phone to iPad, iPad to computer, all that back and forth so don't worry about that detail. But basically this is a wireless way to transfer photos or any files from an iPhone or a Mac or any device to a different device. It does require iTunes on the device that you're transferring to or from as far as I know. If there are tech people listening to this that um, know differently please put a link. Uh, this is not my forte knowing technology but um, this is just something I know how to do since I have an iPhone and a Mac and this was just such a huge time saver. But um, it's wireless, you don't have to worry about cords and it it's, takes seconds. So when you have an iPhone basically what you're going to do is you're going to select whatever you want to transfer from your phone to your iPad or your computer and you can do this from a iPhone to a regular PC um, and you're going to select what you want to transfer and then you get the little screen here that where you can choose where you want to send it you know text message email whatever and you get this little uh, radio button that's what this is called with the blue lines and that's what you're going to pick to transfer but before you can do that you've got to get your two devices talking to each other and that takes just a like maybe a minute. Um, so then you're going to go to the device that you want to transfer your items to and if you're on a Mac or sending to an iPad you should have AirDrop as one of your features in your Finder. So you can see here it's it's right there near you know desktop applications that kind of stuff and it, it may take a minute or two for the, it to find the device but you want to set that up by going down here it says airdrop lets you share instantly with people nearby so you have to let your computer find your phone and your phone find your computer and you're just going to have your phone next to the computer there is a range there so if you are in um, like if you're in an office and you want to be able to share things wirelessly with other people you work with you can do that too, but I'm not sure what the range is, how close you have to be, you know, how many feet it is. So then it will find the device that is trying to share with it, so it'll pop up like that. Then on your phone, you want to be able to see the device that is you're transferring to. So in this case, my MacBook pops up, and you're just going to tap that little, you know, little head thing right there that what do you call that avatar um, and then you will see it'll start flashing waiting it's, it's starting to communicate with the device you're transferring to then it will change to sending and you get this blue uh, basically it's a status showing that it's sending then you'll also see the same thing on the device that's receiving the data so you get that blue circle starting to form there and it keeps going and then you'll hear this nice little plunk sound once it is completed. Now these items that you're transferring from your from your phone or your iPad to your computer they're going to go into your downloads folder. So you're just going to go to your downloads and they will be in there. Um, so if you feel like your head is about to explode and you don't understand that I will post a link to an article that gives you all the different ways you can transfer between devices. So you just find what you're doing, if it's from an iPhone to a PC or a, a iPad to a Mac or whatever you're doing and it's going to walk you through the exact steps. And I just wanted to let you know I have added a whole bunch of stuff to my website. Um, that's one of the things I've been doing this summer is creating new classes. So um, 
over the weekend I added about six new things to my website I want to give you the link to that so you can go check out what's going on um, and I create these classes because people ask for this information how do you do this how do you do that so my background is in um, corporate training and this just comes naturally to me so that's why I do this um, so I've got a profitable world of selling women's clothing level three this is a one hour course that is different from the other two so you can just go to the, the link there and read the description um, I've also got a one hour course on how to use Facebook buy and sell groups a lot of people just don't know how this works I've been doing this about two years now I started doing it when I downsized out of my 3,000 square foot home when my son went off to college and I just was ready to downsize I sold a lot of things on these Facebook groups and this is a great way to make money for things that are too big to ship too fragile to ship um, they're too heavy or bulky you can have people come to your home and pick up furniture you can meet them somewhere um, so I have put everything I know about this into a class and this is something else I do on the side in addition to eBay that is easy and fun and profitable so something you want to check out there then I've also got my 12 hour virtual training is ready uh, this is taken from my eight hour training day and I've added a bunch of stuff to it um, if you came to the training day you are getting all this in the shared folder so you're not missing anything this is stuff you already have but this is 12 hours of intensive training the most comprehensive thing I have ever put together and uh, so go to the link there and read all the details on that if you really are serious about growing your eBay business so anyway back to airdrop give that a try see if that helps it's a quick way to get your photos onto your computer so you can work on your listings I hope that helps and have a great day on eBay bye